What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can swap the UE5 mannequin with a metahuman using live retarget. So you can see we've got a metahuman character here, looking quite nice. It can do everything many can do, run around and jump and whatnot. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty, for the record guys, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.2.0, the most recent version as of the day of recording this video. We're going to create a new project using the third person template, leave everything as default, and hit create. Once the engine's fired up, we're going to open up Quixel Bridge, head on down to the MetaHumans tab, and export the character that you're going to be using. I'm just going to select one that I've already got downloaded. Um, I'll use Erno. Hit export. This might take a few seconds and then you'll be prompted to enable some missing plugins. Enable all missing plugins and restart the editor. I'm going to try and make this as quick and as easy as possible guys. So. Once your editor's uh, restarted, go into your MetaHumans folder and open up their blueprint. This might take a few seconds if this is the first time you've done it. Also go into the third person uh, folder, blueprints and open up BP third person character and also open up BP third person game mode. In your MetaHumans blueprint, go to class settings change the parent class to BP third person character. Also grab the body here and drag it onto mesh. You can delete root. If you hit compile, you'll see an error down here that says target, click on target. And this target here requires mesh. So drag out mesh, plug it in there. And let's get rid of these other errors. These require get skeletal mesh asset. So plug that in there, delete the old one, replacing that. And the same again for this one. Get skeletal mesh asset. Delete the old one. And your errors are gone. Go back to the viewport, select body, zero out the location and rotation. Select this mannequin mesh and in the details panel search for visible uncheck visible and visibility based anim tick option change this to always tick pose and refresh bones now down here you'll find live retarget and this use live retarget mode boolean change the default value to true and live retarget setup here double click that find this node down here hit the browse icon will take you to this animation blueprint open up this animation blueprint and over here on the left, double click Anim Graph. This retarget pose from Mesh node up here has an IK retargeter asset. Uh, hit Browse again, will take you to this IK retargeter, which we are going to hit Control D and duplicate. And I'm just gonna leave uh, the name as RTG MetaHuman 1. This one is how I'll differentiate this from the original there. So we're gonna open up this duplicate up here at the top right, change this to IK Mannequin and the source preview mesh to SKM Quinn. Uh, this can stay as IK MetaHuman and change the target preview mesh to the preview mesh of your MetaHuman, which is in my case, uh, male, medium, overweight, body preview. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I found that. So if you open up your MetaHumans uh, folder, you'll find a folder here that's either named male or female. If you open that up, male, medium, overweight, body, you'll see this skeletal mesh here, and that's how it's uh, denoted male, medium, overweight, body. Um, that's how I've selected this one, male, medium, overweight, body, preview. Select the left arm down here and change blend to source to zero. Do the same with the right arm, blend to source to zero. You can hit save and close this one. Now in the uh, animation blueprint here, the retarget pose uh, from mesh node, you wanna make sure you change this IK retargeter asset 
to this new one that we've created, RTG MetaHuman 1. This one we've created and made some alterations to. Hit compile and save, you can close that now. If we uh, compile our MetaHuman, it's been retargeted. Couple of other things to do. We're going to select LOD sync down here and change forced LOD to 1. Uh, this just makes sure that grooms like the beard, which don't actually have um, the lower LODs, they don't exist, uh, will stop the hair from disappearing. Um, go to your BP third person characters event graph and select everything. Control click event begin play to unselect it. Control C, go back to your metahumans event graph, find some empty space. Control V to paste this stuff in. Grab this event begin play and hair lod setup and plug it into cast to player controller. Uh, what else is there? Uh, go to your BP third person game mode and change the default pawn class to your metahumans blueprint. We don't need this anymore so you can close that down. Uh, we don't need BP third person character anymore so you can close that down as well. Um, that should be everything. If we, uh, I'm just going to quickly change the max FPS to 60 so this doesn't break my recording software. If I hit play, there we go guys. We have replaced the UE5 mannequin with a metahuman. Guys, if this has been of any use or value to you at all, please hit like and subscribe as it would mean a great deal to me. It'd really help me out. I'm actually going to eventually use this platform to talk about upcoming projects that me and my colleagues will be releasing, um, upcoming games. So uh, yeah, it would really help me out a lot if you could hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.